In the previous lecture, we discussed the time constant form of a control system. Now in this presentation, we are going to discuss one example based on time constant form of a control system. So let's get started. Given g is equal to 25 over s plus 1 multiplied with s plus 2 and xt equal to del t. Find the time constant of the output. So in this example, we are given a system whose transfer function gs is equal to 25 over s plus 1 multiplied with s plus 2 and the input to this system is xt which is equal to del t and we need to find out the time constant of the output. So moving on to the solution, we are given g is equal to 25 over s plus 1 multiplied with s plus 2 and the input to the function is xt which is equal to del t. So if we take the Laplace transform of this input, then we will have x is equal to 1 because the Laplace transform of impulse function is equal to 1. Now we will first find out the output and then after that we will calculate the time constant of the output. So we all know that the output of the function is the multiplication of these two functions. So we will have y is equal to 25 over s plus 1 multiplied with s plus 2. So now we have calculated the output of this system to this input. We will now calculate its time constant. And for that sake, we need to find out the time constant form of this function. And it is defined as y is equal to 25 over 2 multiplied with s plus 1 multiplied with s over 2 plus 1. We have taken 2 common from this factor. And now it is in the time constant form. Now here we can observe that we are having two poles in this transfer function. So we will have two different time constants. In the previous lecture, we were dealing with first order transfer function and that's why there was only one pole and hence there was only one time constant. Remember, the number of time constants is equal to the total number of poles in the transfer function. In this case, the number of poles is equal to 2 and that's why the number of time constants will also be equal to 2. So the time constant due to this pole is tau1 equal to 1 seconds and the time constant due to this pole is tau2 we can say equal to 0.5 seconds. The overall time constant of the system is the greater one which is tau1 equal to 1 seconds. We will discuss this in detail when we will study the concept of dominant pole. So now we are done with this example. Now we will move on to the general time constant form of a control system. The general time constant form of a control system is defined as g is equal to k multiplied with 1 plus s tau 1 multiplied with 1 plus s tau 2, 1 plus s tau 3 and so on up to 1 plus s tau n over s to the power n multiplied with 1 plus s tau dash 1 multiplied with 1 plus s tau dash 2 multiplied with 1 plus s tau dash 3 and so on up to 1 plus s tau dash n. This transfer function is representing n number of zeros, n number of poles at the origin and n number of poles in the left half plane. So this is an important form of a control system. We will use this general time constant form in the upcoming sections. So now we are done with this lecture. In the next lecture, we will discuss the DC gain of a system. I'll end this lecture here. See you in the next one.